Hello. Okay, I'm going to be discussing A Noiseless Patient Spider by Walt Whitman. I'll start off first by reading it. A noiseless patient spider, I marked where, on a little promontory, it stood isolated, marked how to explore the vacant, vast surrounding. It launched forth filament, 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 out of itself, ever unreeling them, ever tirelessly speeding them. And you, O oh my soul, where you stand, surrounded, surrounded, in measureless oceans of space, Ceaselessly musing, venturing, throwing, seeking the spheres to connect them, till the bridge you will need be formed, till the ductile anchor hold, till the gossamer thread of you fling, catch somewhere, oh my soul. Okay, so basically, the speaker, Whitman, is observing a spider who's trying to start his web, and it's obviously a pretty difficult process, um, but the spider just continuously tries to shoot out the web, and the hardest part about the web is getting that first strand to stick because that's the entire foundation of the of the web. And so he has to do it over and over again and try and try and try and it's a long process, but the end result is going to be he has a web and he's gonna have a place to stay. And so then Whitman compares the spider to his own soul and how humans' lives are centered around trying to find your purpose and making sure that your life is meaningful and that's the hardest part about living life is knowing what you're going to do and how you're going to make the world a different place and how you're going to impact it. And so by doing so, um, it is a hard and difficult process. And sometimes it is lonely in life because you don't know what you're doing. And he, Whitman makes sure to make it clear that it's very lonely and it's a long and tedious process. He says, um, in the first stanza, when he's talking about the spider, it's vacant and vast and there's no one around him, and it's a really long and boring process, and he's lonely. And But then, towards the end of the poem, Whitman says that when the strand finally sticks, that's when you know that you did something perfect. and Well, not perfect, but something worth living for. And that's the entire purpose of life, is to connect that one strand to something and make it stick and have that foundation started. And so... Um, it's a great poem, and it's really interesting how Whitman was able to compare a spider and a soul. It's a very big juxtaposition, and this entire extended metaphor is really accurately describes the human life and trying to find out what your purpose in life is going to be. So that was A Noiseless Patient Spider by Walt Whitman. Thank you.